Hey, how's it going? And today I'm just going to show you how to convert your metahuman into a third person character. And so right now we're in Unreal Engine in the third person game. There's basically eight steps to this. And so I'll try to go as fast as I can. I know everybody's in a hurry. I'll go into my metahuman. My metahuman is called Mary. I think everybody, including the Zandorian tribesmen, know how to import a metahuman by now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go into click on the blueprint and then we'll go to the class settings and we're going to switch it from the parent class from the actor to the third person character right there and then when we do that that's basically the first step the next step is we're going to take the body here and drag it into the mesh you know i just did a tutorial about this and I think I did it in like 25 steps and this is like eight steps, but honestly, I'm not frustrated. I'm just learning. I think we're all learning a little bit about this program and it's changing so much. So if you find a faster way of learning how to do something, then please feel free to share it. So we do that. So we drag the body into under the mesh. So now it's a child and this root here, we can just delete it. That is the third step. Now we can compile this because it says to compile up there and we can go save. So now what we can do is close this. Now you'll notice here on the thumbnail that things have changed. So we're going to double click that and this time go into the viewport. And like this other video, I just did the longer way of doing this. I brought these components in individually, but you can see here this is more efficient because we're dragging the whole body in at once versus the individual parts. So this is saving a lot of time. So we click on our body and we just have to reorient it. So this is step number four. So we reorient her and you'll notice her arms are sticking out. I noticed this. That's something that there's a difference here in the arms and I don't know yet how to correct that. So you'll notice when we get this all done, her arms are sticking out a little bit. But if we're looking at it from the camera's perspective from shooting behind her, you might not notice it too much. But when she's just standing there, her arms are kind of sticking out a little too far. If I figure out how to solve that, I will. We did step four. Now step five is we're going to come down here to variable and where it says retarget mode enabled, we're going to go ahead and enable that. Now you would hope that her arms would line up, but obviously I think there's some difference in the, so I think she's got too much bend there. So that's uh, step five. We can go ahead and compile that. Now all we gotta do is just basically make kind of this mesh go away. So if we come over here, we'll click on that mesh, this mesh, we want it to go away now. We have basically two meshes here and it's kind of a mess. So you can search up here, but when you're first starting out and learning all this, I think it's best to, to search down here instead of just searching here. It's just so you know kind of what you're ex exactly doing. And so what we're looking right now for is we're looking for the rendering, which is right here. And so we don't want this mesh to be rendered. So we're just going to click that off and see it goes away. Essentially, hidden in a sense and then see how our arms are sticking out like that but it works otherwise i'll have to try with a different metahuman to see if i have the same issue with the arms and then the the last thing is if we come down here we're still we're looking for optimization is the next one it's here somewhere optimization oh here and then we just change this to refresh bones. And then we can compile again and save. And then there's only one last step we gotta do is we gotta go, we can close out of this now we're done here. We gotta go into the third person character in the blueprints and go into the game mode. The game mode is what controls all the rules and things. And now we have her as a pawn class. We want to switch this to our metahuman and compile and save that. And basically that's it. And except for her arm sticking out a little weird, I mean, it 
it pretty much works. So if you can figure out a way to solve that, please feel free to share. So here we are, and there she goes. Now one thing I will say is I've just been kind of cheating on some things here. If I come around here and I'm right clicking, I can kind of zoom in, but I notice I come in low at an angle. So don't forget, let me escape out of this. You can adjust your angle. So if I go into back into the MetaHumans folder and go back into her and I click here, if I go to viewport, I can move this camera and reposition it and to be in front of her or, you know, so don't be afraid to play around with this camera here and you can reposition it so that you might get a better angle on her when you're playing the game. And that is all I had. So I hope we can all help each other to learn Unreal Engine. It's changing constantly, so much to it. So I, I just hope that we can support each other as we're going forward and learning this all together. So take care, have a great day, and I will talk to you next time.